Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. Today, it's going to be a get ready with me. It's a quick get ready with me. Very impromptu date night. Not a night, a daytime date. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get ready with me with like a little bit of older products in my collection. So yes, if you are ready, let's begin. Let's begin. I'm so excited. It's going to be a quick get ready with me because we just like instantly decided that we're going to go on a date. So it was not planned at all. Kids are at school and we both were at home and we had some free time. So we were like, let's go on a date. So that's what we're going to do. I am basically going to get ready in front of you so that you guys can see like how I naturally get ready. This is going to be like a genuine realistic mom makeup look and everyday makeup look. But yeah, for a date night, not date night. It's a daytime, like for lunch. <laughs> So, I'm going to take my uh, L'Oreal True Match Nude. You guys have heard me like rave about this so many times. I'm scraping off the things from the bottle now because I'm on the verge of finishing this product, which is yay. Look at this. Look at this bottle. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I cannot even. So, I'm going to just put this. I have a few breakouts here, but that's okay. Part of life. <laughs> I'm gonna smear it around and then use my BK Beauty brush to apply it because yes, that 101 foundation brush, I cannot do without it guys. I really cannot. So I'm gonna take that. Actually, let's do the round buffing brush. The only reason why I'm using the round buffing brush is because I use my powder foundation. I generally use that for like my everyday office look with this and this already has like powder foundation on it. I don't want to mix cream product with it. So I'm going to use this BK Beauty 106 round buffing brush. This is perfect for like buffing the product. So we're going to use this. And create a seamless effect on the skin. This is like more loosely packed than the 101 uh, brush so this gives more effect like uh, like if you would be applying foundation with a sponge that is the effect that this foundation brush gives which I love absolutely love for like an everyday look and that's all we need I did my brows already using my Maybelline brow pencil and this one is the express brow pencil and this one is in the shade medium brown. I already moisturized my face, so I didn't want to like apply a hydrating primer on top of it. That's blended enough. Now, uh, let's move on to the concealer. I'm going to take my concealer, the Catrice True Skin Concealer in the shade 046 and apply that here. My tan is going away, so this appears a little more on the peachy side now. So I'm going to mix it with another concealer actually and this is Maybelline Superstay Active Wear concealer and this one is in the shade 30. Let's see how light is this compared to that. Yeah, a tiny little bit so let's do that actually and then blend it again with the same foundation brush on the face. Just so that whatever foundation is left can like blend into the skin seamlessly and I generally do this only on the face underneath the eyes I'm going to use my concealer brush the 506 brush from BK Beauty another must-have product from BK Beauty seriously stunning product I'm going to take that on the inner corner of like my eye socket and then blend it underneath the eyes lift it around the sides and then blend it down and that's all we need from this brush just like that and then I'm going to powder my face first underneath the eyes I'm loving the She Glam powder, the Insta Ready She Glam powder especially for underneath the eyes and this translucent setting one the pressed one it's absolutely amazing. I always use this with like a, what is this called? Powder puff. <laughs> I'm like running out of the words. Dab it on the back of the hand and then look up and then just dab it. You need the very slightest bit for like a smooth finish underneath the eyes. Can you see that? 
stunning it is and the best part is that that powder also has like a loose setting powder so it's like a two-in-one product and you don't need anything else and both of them work super super nicely on the skin so i'm gonna take the loose setting powder now on my bk beauty 102 press it there and then just blend it across the face to just lightly set my face this is so soft i can do this all day long not because I need to blend it, just because it's so soft. <laughs> okay, now let's move on. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Bronzer. This is the Color Icon Bronzer in the shade What Shady Beaches. I'm going to take this with my BK Beauty 104, which is like more tapered. And apply that on the perimeters of the face. I love this brush. Actually, I love the other one too, which is more like tapered. It's not tapered. It's like... The ferrule is more like pinched together as well as it's more like a fan shape. And this is 103. Whatever your preference of the brush is for the bronzer, both of them work stunningly. Stunningly together. I'll do that. Just to give some warmth on the skin. And then for the blush, I'm going to take my Pat McGrath's Nude Venus Blush just because it's nudey and it is wearable and I love it. <laughs> and I'm going to take this on the Angie Hot and Plushy BK Beauty Blush uh, blush Brush and this is A507. Tap that, tap the excess off and then just apply that on the skin. I generally stamp the product and then buff it in just so that I get like enough pigmentation but I blend it out like seamlessly into my bronzer just like that now let's move on to the highlighter for the highlighter I'm going to take my Catrice Sungasm highlighter because it just has like a, a slight bit of like peachiness to it it really complements so I'm going to take that on my Real Techniques setting brush and apply that lightly on the skin nothing heavy nothing precise just blend it down and then I'm going to apply that same thing on the nose too just the tip of the nose so that's more like a seamless effect on the skin okay for the eyes we're going to dip into our dose of colors friendcation palette because why not why not <laughs> I use this constantly. It's just that you guys don't watch it uh, because it's not available anymore. I'm going to take this shade and blend that down the crease. Can you hear that sound in the background? I'm really, really sorry. Somebody is mowing the lawn right now. I don't know why. And I do not have time to wait. Now I'm going to go with this shade. I think this is called Churro. It's more like a warm tone brown shade. I'm going to take the same thing on my crease. Just a little bit lower than what we applied. The basic shade. Is that the basic shade or necessary? Necessary. This is necessary. This is Churro. You know you love the palette when you do not even see what shade name it is. And you know it. I'm going to take that on my lower lash line too. These just blend so perfectly, like so perfectly. I don't even know what to say. Like, yeah. And after so many years, I still like, it just gives me excitement to use it. That's, that's what I love about it. Now I'm going to take this BK Beauty 501 brush, A501 brush. I'm going to mix this and this together. This is Chains and Churro. And then... Put that on the outer corners as well as inner corners just for an added depth. And then just blend it towards the center of the eyelid. I'm going to take that same shade on my lower lash line too.
and then for the shimmer i'm going to take this shade dirty martini shade oh i love this can you see that <laughs> i'm going to take that on the center of my eyelid and that's just beautiful like stunning but for like a day look i think i'll just lighten it up a tiny little bit that you can just keep it here for sure i'm just being a little extra after applying this i'm going to just go to my gourmet girls ethereal palette like look how stunning that is absolutely stunning and actually gourmet girl ethereal palette does have like a very similar shade uh, similar to this one and that's called this one uh, let me see and it's a little more on the lighter side so that's exactly what i want i'm going to just tap it on the center can you see that difference yeah that's what i want so i'm just going to tap it right on the center of my eyelid just to give that added pop and this is so much of shine and dimension that's like stunning and that just made it <laughs> now i'm just going to take the same brush that we used and i'm just going to blend the edges so that there's no harsh lines and then for the inner corners i'm just going to dip into this shade which is lucent the yellow shade and then just plop that on my inner corners it's more of that grassy green shade let's actually apply the shade which is pure and apply that right on top just to give a subtle effect nowhere subtle <laughs> but yes actually i just took it off a tiny little bit and i'm just applying my translucent powder or like whatever face powder just because i don't want like too much green in my inner corners right now but we're going to apply this shade actually from uh, the rose of color friendcation palette this shade and this is called just a kiss i'm just going to take that yeah that's enough that is enough like i want like a champagne gold not too green yeah that will do now i'm just going to finish off my eyes with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back now for the lips i'm just going to take my kkw beauty's lip liner in the shade nude 2.5 And then for the lipstick, I'm going to take my Merit Beauty's 1990 lipstick. I'm going to finally spray my face with my e.l.f. coconut setting spray. Just like that. Take my powder puff that I already used with no additional product. And just dab it underneath the eyes because I don't want any shine there. and that is it and this is my final look i really hope that you guys enjoyed this like quick get ready with me that was super impromptu <laughs> but yes if you did like this video and if you do like me using like older makeup in my collection do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 am eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video Bye guys.